Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to T320 Block 3 Part 3 Messaging for Web Services. In this video I'll be demonstrating Activity 1, where we'll be creating a Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion web service using Eclipse and using a remote WSDL from T320 Web Services to generate a test client and then examine the SOAP messages going back and forth. The first step is to create a new dynamic web project. I'm going to name mine My Convert Service. The next thing to do is to add the class so you can store the code in it. To do that, we're going to go and say we want a new class. We need to provide a package name. Remember that this is of the form yoroku.t320.open.ac.uk except for backwards. So uk.ac.open.t320.uk MAH383, because MAH383 in my case is my OKU, you'd use your own. We also need to give it a class name, it's going to be convert. And I have a typo there, which I've just fixed. As you can see, it's generated some boilerplate for us. I'm going to select that all and delete it because I've stored the code that we need here on my clipboard. I'm just going to save that. We're now ready to generate a test client from the remote WSDL so that we can test out the service and see if it works the way we expect. To do that, we need to generate a web client, a web services client. So back to new, we need to go all the way down to other, which is a little beyond the screen here. Once we're there, scroll down into Web Services and choose Web Service Client. We need to provide a service definition. This is the address of the WSDL. So in this case, it's going to be the remote WSDL address. Note that the study guide has an error. It should be capital C for convert with a capital S for service, not lowercase c uh, for convert. So make sure you fix that. We can test that to make sure it's working. Uh, there's some kind of WSI problem, but we're going to ignore that for the moment. The actual WSDL itself was there and was found. We need to generate a test client, so we're going to move this up. And we should be almost ready to go. Oh, one more thing, test the web service. We want to monitor it, so we need to tick that. And we're ready to go. It goes off and whirs and clicks a little bit to itself. And because we've said that we're going to be monitoring the web service, it's come back and given us an error. Remember that we're generating the test client based on the remote WSDL and we're going back and forth. We can't actually monitor port 80 of somebody else's web service, so that's why it's generating an error here. That error is okay to ignore, or that warning is okay to ignore. It's going off and worrying and worrying some more. And you can see down here, it says starting server. It's going to start the test client here on my local copy of Apache Tomcat. And indeed, here we go. We've got the test client up. So to test it, we want to choose the method convert. What I'd like to ideally do, if possible, is resize the window here so you can see, but that doesn't seem to be working. Um, we can test some known values. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is 0 degrees in Celsius. So scroll down and you can see that that's what we got. Minus 40 is the same in both. So that should be minus 40. So that indeed looks like it's working. And if we go over to the TCP IP monitor tab, you can see on the left hand side here the request, the SOAP request that was sent. See, there's the minus 40. And on the right hand side, you can see the answer that it got back, which was also in this case minus 40. And that concludes this video demonstrating activity one.